Memory studies is actually the study of memory as opposed to the study of history, which you study from a variety of sources. Now we all have memories. We all, you know, we are we all have individual memory, but in recent years there's been this kind of real upsurge in people wanting to remember in public through um, memorials. There's a lot of memorials in our landscapes now, not just to war, but to a whole lot of things. Even the spontaneous ones that come up on the roadside are what people would like to remember. And um, so it's more the study of how people remember the past rather than how historians write the past. And so you use different kinds of methods. Um, you can use quite conventional methods in archives, but you also use what I call memory sources, which are sources written by people personally and oral histories and um, autobiographies, biographies, all of those kinds of sources, but also photographs, which are what people call a technology of remembering, which is a, a form of memory. Memory is both a physiological and a social um, experience. So people have uh, remember, of course, with their biology, neurobiology, and we know a lot more about how people remember now than we used to 20 years ago because they know a lot more about the brain. So study of memory in historical and social sense is when people remember together um, in public um, or they tell things about their memory for to be heard in public or trying to be heard in public and they negotiate their memories with other people. So you'll sometimes find with family memory that you might have a different memory to your brother or your sister about an event in family life. So everyone remembers individually, but um, all remembers socially, collectively, and so you get a sense of it being collective.